90% of falling asleep is just by changing one tiny little thing. Your breathing. You see, by slowing down your heart rate and slowing down your breathing, you're actually making it easier for you to fall asleep. And that's the number one thing you can do, slowing down your breathing. So, throughout the entire, so throughout the entire this video, I need you to do this for me. Three seconds breathing in through the nose, and then exhale through the mouth, and you see, by just doing that, by just changing your breathing, more tired, much more lethargic. So let's do a few deep breaths together slowly. Okay. In through the nose. And exhale any of those problems, any worries, any paranoia. Breathe in. And let the plane go past and don't care about it. that just by doing these and really focusing on your breathing, your heart rate will slow down. And you'll just feel much more tired and relaxed. So, although I'm stopping for now, I encourage you for the entirety of the video to just keep breathing the way I've mentioned. Uh, you really don't understand how good it is for you. Um, so, keep breathing slowly. So next up, once you've got your breathing down packed and your heart rate settled, we're going to be getting into some of the relaxation techniques. So we're going to be doing a full body kind of relaxation process and these are just something that I do to really ensure that your entire body is relaxed emotionally, physically and spiritually. And then uh, we'll do some light triggers with the remaining time that we have for the video. So. Whether you're sitting down in your chair or lying down in your bed, hopefully that. Close your eyes and keep breathing as I said. And with each exhale, I want you to focus on your cranium region, focus on your head. You know, you've gone through a lot today. You've had work to do. You've maybe you're paranoid about schoolwork or homework or exams. I know I've been perhaps you've been in a recent social conflict or fought with your mom or dad or brother or sister or maybe things aren't just going your way whatever it may be we're all going through something different you can worry about those things tomorrow okay you've really done all your best today and you deserve rest so i'm not saying to forget about it but what i am saying is to put those things just to the back of your head don't worry about them you now need to do what's important and that is rest so breathe in and when you exhale i want you to just exhale out any of these negative emotions just release any tension any stress breathe in all the time and 
sitting at a computer or sitting at a piano, so uh, I think it's good to sometimes, if you can, just roll your head a bit, just give it a few rolls and just like lean down and just stretch and just stretch out any of those knots and any of that tension that's really good for you. Um, if you want to focus throughout this, just, you know, relieving any of that tension, all right? So just give your neck a few rolls, and then we can move on down to the upper back and shoulders. So for the upper back and shoulders, I often find that I will have uh, my upper back just quite tight. Uh, this is because, you know, nowadays we're all sitting down and doing work on, on a computer or with bad posture. Um, Posture is so important. So, whether you're sitting up or lying down, make sure your back, you know, is uh, horizontal, like a surfboard, I guess you could say. Okay. And just make sure that your shoulders are nice and they're hanging down. They're not up here like this. They're completely and totally relaxed on your sides. Um, and just make sure, as I said, you, uh, you know, maybe you can roll your back, whatever works for you, just to get rid of those knots, get rid of that tension, get rid of that muscle pain. Um, but I, you know, I usually find that having good posture is quite integral. Okay, so next up. Moving on down to your chest and stomach region, so this whole front area, so... I find that uh, your belly needs to rise and fall like a big balloon. You want to breathe through your diaphragm. And what that basically means is that you can get as much air inside of you. And uh, just feel your stomach expanding like a massive balloon. So um, we'll do a few breaths together to simulate this. Feel your tummy expanding, and then uh, again, feel your tummy expanding. You can feel as much air coming in, and then uh, exhale that CO2, exhale that carbon dioxide. Okay. As for your chest, you know, sometimes you might have chest pains, whatever, just make sure your chest is nice and flat out. Um, but for the most part, in that area, you want to focus on just really good breathing. So, hopefully you're still doing that breathing, and your tummy's expanding, and now your neck's feeling a bit better, and so is your back, and all of those negative thoughts we were talking about have gone away for now. Okay, so next up, let's focus on your lower back. So, for the lower back, I often find that I can get pretty uh, nasty pain. Again, this is all to do with posture, so some little stretches that my physiotherapist told me is um, you have very, very sensitive and small muscles at your lower back. Now what you want to do is if you're sitting down or lying down, you can actually lean a bit to the side and you'll stretch those muscles, you'll give it a nice little stretch, okay? And just hold that for maybe no more than five seconds, it's very sensitive stretch. Come back and do it the other side. Just stretch out those little muscles you have there. You want to be very careful with these exercises because it's, uh, the muscles are very small and it's easy to damage them. And, uh, but I find if you just do that, it's extraordinarily good and, uh, you won't have any lower back problems. Also, with accompanied by slow breathing, it's going to really help. We're almost done. Now moving on down to your legs and kind of thigh muscles. So the thigh muscle is the biggest muscle in the entire body group. So you want to make sure that your legs are nice and relaxed, right? And that you can give your legs a few rolls or massage your legs, you know, whatever works for you. But just relieve any of that tension, any of those knots you may have from physical exercise and whatnot. Okay, I'm almost done talking. Now move on down to your feet and ankles. And as well as your hands for that matter. I find that rolling my hands, my wrists, rotating them, 
it really helps just like get rid of any of that stress any of that tension just like this and you can do the same thing with your ankles but that's pretty much going to conclude that section I know we went a bit over time for that but for the last few minutes we're going to just make sure you're completely asleep by doing a few slow deep breaths and I want you to just drift off to drift off to bed you've done so well today to just relax completely and drift off to bed you've done air all the hard work that you've had to do and you've been so cooperative it's time for you to get the rest you deserve so close your eyes and slowly deep And just feel yourself getting deeper and deeper into this sleep. Feel yourself just getting more and more sleepy. And just fall asleep, asleep, asleep. I'm also getting tired just by doing this, so... Deep breaths, inhale and exhale. And just feel yourself getting sleepy. Just great.